Tony, it's been a long season for Bolt, but he hasn't let you down yet. No, I don't think he's gone a bad race all season. Well, he hasn't. He's gone terrific all season. He's, he's been great. Yeah, tremendous. I can almost hear the Mission Impossible music going on in the background when you think Sunday Sun, 3,200 metres, how do you beat him? Yeah, no, as we know, it won't be easy. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to do our best and get as good a trip as we can with him and, and hopefully he can finish it out to be right there anyway. Right, back to a standing start. Uh, Bolt's record from a stand is nothing short of outstanding. He's, he's come up with barrier two, so what would you like to unfold to give him his best chance? Um... I don't, it'd be awful to Sunday Sun, but <laughs> no, it, it, yeah, well, he, he usually steps good and we get an economical trip and just hope for the best and see what we can do, yeah. Right, good luck with him. You drive Spankham, a horse that you've drove a few years ago now. Um, he's clearly talented enough to win an Auckland Cup. He's had a couple of shots at it and a New Zealand Cup, so the 3200 shouldn't be a problem. No, no, I'm wrapped to get the drive on him. He's, he's a great little horse, really. He's done a terrific job and, um, and he's tough and, like you say, I don't think the two miles will worry him. A bit more weight in the cart this week, but apart from that, he's got, he's got his big chance here. When you've won eight or nine Auckland Cups, is where you sit at the moment, um, is, it, is it still a goal? Is it still a desire to win another one? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's a great race, and it's been a great race to me and, and the people who've been involved in the horses I tra uh, drove and trained that, that um, had, had their chances in those races, so it was good. Again, his manners are very good. Getting to the markers is so crucial, particularly over the longer journey. So that will be goal number one, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, anywhere handy will be good. And, and just, you know, the pace will probably be reasonably solid, as we know, and, and hopefully the best horse wins. You've got your own double delight going around, of course, uh, in the derby. Gee, it's a deep race. She missed last week. What was that down to? And is she obviously A-OK -okay for this week? Yeah, she had a, a wee temperature last week and just sort of didn't want to take any risks and if there any, anything wrong with her blood or her temperature again this week, we wouldn't be starting her, but we, we feel 100% sure that she's right and she seemed to train really nice this morning, so um, I'm very happy. It's a shame we missed the race probably. She's the sort of filly that thrives on a bit of racing, but um, it's 2700, so it'll, it'll be a tough run and there's some masterly the other, the other night was just terrific and if um, John Dunn's horse does things right, we know he's a great horse too, so... Yeah, but she's, she's drawn a little awkward one on the second race, so we'll just have it. Probably with just to be fair, with that she hasn't had quite the racing that she needed last week. We might get an economical trip and hopefully we can be a bit, be thereabouts. She certainly gives the indication the 2700's right up her alley. Yeah, well, she's such a laid back girl and just doesn't worry too much about anything and just does what she has to. And yeah, I don't think the 27 uh, will, will be a problem at this stage. What about post this race? Is that it for her? And, and are you? Are you thinking Derby at the end of the year at Addington and, and, and what's the pathway to get there? Yeah, we'll probably have to give her a bit of a freshen up again now and um, and wait till later on. So we'll just have to work out after, we'll give them a few weeks off and just see what we've got after that um, and see where we go from there. Earlier in the night, you've got Mr Chip in race number two, just keeps on finding one better. Mind you, the couple that have beaten him have gone on and won again. They have, yeah, no, that's right. He probably had his chance the other night and just probably knocked off a little bit. We've had a wee gear change, just a set of pull-down blinds on him just to keep him running to the line, hopefully. And, um, yeah, so um, we'll see how that works. But, yeah, but he's a good, honest horse and lovely horse, so, yeah. Always a great night at Alexandra Park, Auckland Cup night. You throw the row cup on top of that and it's an even better one. We wish you well. Yeah, thanks very much, Greg. Cheers for that.